Richard, um, so first of all, congratulations uh, to your offers from uh, BCG and on its way to BCG also from Oliver Wyman and uh, Roland Berger. Um, so yeah. first of all, congrats. That has been an amazing journey with a great outcome. Um, Thank you very much. But, uh, I mean, how do you feel now, actually? Let's start with this. Yeah, uh, great, of course. I think um, this is a big change now in my, my life. Uh, as you know, I was working previously in, in Big Four um, for one about one and a half years. Um, so it's definitely a, like a different focus now and different questions that you are being um, asked by your client. Um, this is certainly very interesting for me now. Um, yeah, it feels great. You start to realize it and how this might impact your your professional life then in the future. But um, yeah, this might come in, in the next couple of weeks uh, or months until you really uh, fully live up to this to this job. And um, this is what really excites me now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the next this, <laughs> what one challenge uh, successfully completed. Next one is waiting for you in the first six months on the job. Uh, yeah. But uh, th there will also be some input and content and information from us coming, right? So um, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we got to cover with regards to this also. Um, yeah. Okay, so but but Richard, tell us a little bit about your journey. So when did you actually um, decide to receive professional help from us? Yeah, so this was actually, um, I made this decision actually last year already. I talked to mm -hmm. a former mentee from you, his name is Peter, and he did the coaching, I think, in, in May uh, 2021 with you. Um, and he was also a research assistant at the chair of the department where I did my PhD at the KIT in Karlsruhe. Um, and he already said that I received such a great feedback. Um, I think he even passed his Bain um, interviews in his first round. So um, a really great feedback that he received. And I thought, well, that, that might be a good good way to, to uh, prepare for interviews with you guys. And then the final decision I made was um, then actually in February this year, I, I was in contact with the city on Facebook. I mm -hmm. uh, chatted a little bit about the current situation on the job market. Um, yeah, and so my plan was to really initiate the training in um, February or in the first and second quarter, and then land an uh, offer at the MVPs in uh, the second half of 2022, which then, um, as we know right now, really uh, played out well for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was cool. already yeah, working like uh, one and a half years already, so I thought uh, it might be good if I have a little bit more time. Um, you know, um, when you're working full time, you have a lot of projects uh, at work and it might be difficult to schedule interviews or peer practice sessions during the week. So I gave myself a little bit more time um, yeah. and the whole process now was about like four and a half months, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you you definitely played uh, rather the long term game here, um, but as as we are always saying, this is usually the better approach, right? Um, yeah. uh, yes, um, it's also possible to do it uh, in a shorter time frame, but why, right? Um, this yeah. is such an important decision for your career. This is such an important decision for your life, actually. Mm -hmm. Why would you um, try to to squeeze everything in into two months if you can plan ahead and if you yeah, just um, optimize your chances doing it uh, a little bit uh, with a longer timeline, right? Exactly, um, yeah. but, but, but let's speak about that point, right? So what was actually especially helpful for you um, in the program doing this preparation next to your normal job, right? Um, because mm -hmm. there might have been some challenges along your way. Yeah, so it was certainly the ability in the beginning to um, plan it according to what your timeline is. Um, to be free on the web uh, on the web uh, portal that you have, like the online program, and really absorb mm -hmm. this material uh, in a structured way, like the way that you suggest um, to someone to do it, um, which really makes sense um, because absorbing the material in the beginning and then go to solve the case is is very good in my opinion, um, because you really get an understanding of what qualities do I need to show during these interviews. Um, and until this fully absorbs, then it makes sense to go into the one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching sessions with you um, or City, um, and also um, to the group training calls and uh, the peer practice sessions. So it was definitely that helped me the most was certainly like the feedback I received from you and from the peer practice session, um, but also the time that I had to fully absorb the material and the 12 um, worksheets cases that I solved on my own pace to really mm -hmm. absorb the material to know which questions do we have to ask uh, in order to come up to a clear recommendation to the clients to the clients question and um, also what what um, a little nuance um, that that I really really learned during this was 
um, the listening to the recorded group call sessions that you also have on the platform. Um, because you know a lot of mentees have different questions that they ask and uh, these these fortnightly calls really gave me um, the detailed nuance like some some particular detailed questions to ensure that i am able to to show a really strong uh, case performance later in my interviews um yeah and this was was certainly one of the most important things besides that also and, and this is some sort of a side effect of your training the the fit and pei worksheets which helped me uh, really a lot about like which qualities are important for MBBs. How can I clearly communicate these qualities in the interview? And it also helped me, um, as I said, a side effect to, to some sort of reflect about yourself. Um, what what person am I? What are my values? And what is important for me? Yeah. So this was in a nutshell the the stuff that helped well, me most. Yeah. So, so 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 this but this was a lot actually. This yeah. Thing, this yeah. uh, indeed was a lot. And and let me maybe pick out two things that are. Uh, exceptionally important from my point of view, also knowing essentially all other resources in, in that space. And, and one is the didactical concept, right? It's just a, a very flawed assumption that you should start casing right away without having the right fundamentals to build on. Yeah. It's just like a, a little bit stupid because what's going to happen is you're scaling the wrong things and then you will need even more energy and focus to get rid of these things later on, right? Yeah. And also, using one on one mentor coaching sessions in a way that the, the fundamentals are explained or so even worse that some kind of frameworks are uh, conveyed there that you should then learn by heart. This is absolutely the wrong focus and time. This is not helpful. This is uh, also, to be fairly honest, a waste of time for both the mentee and the coach, right? Yeah. So therefore, um, yeah, the, the, the groundwork, the legwork needs to needs to be done before you speak to the mentors, right? And then yeah. you can scale systematically and then it will lead to an outcome that you had. And for you, particularly in your situation, I was actually um, yeah, pretty proud when I, when I heard about the results because they were fully deserved and I really could see you yeah. growing throughout that program, right? So, yeah, um, so. It's, it's, it's very nice if you, uh, so from, from also a coach perspective, if you, if you see somebody um, following your advice and then you see really the difference in between yeah. a couple of uh, days and weeks, right? So, um, yeah, absolutely. yeah and, and essentially, and that's the second point, what we are building here or have built here is not only trying to bring you into to the world's most prestigious uh, consulting companies, right? What what we are, want to do here is shaping your professional career, right? Mm -hmm. Setting you up for a top career. And there is more to this than stupid case solving. There is a lot more to this. And yeah. um, being aware of what kind of professional you want to be, what kind of values you would like to live up to, and yeah. also um, what your professional vision will be. It's not only important to have a discussion about in these interviews, but it is also important to uh, yeah, make good decisions at the trade-offs that will come, right? So mm -hmm. joining BCG, there might be, I don't know, 150 uh, opportunities um, uh, every, every month or so, because people yeah. want you to work for them. Um, especially at, at the side of your current project at best, right? And yeah. so you, you, you will have more opportunities that you that, then you can serve. Uh, trust me on that one. Um, yeah. And it's just important to have a clear compass according you can decide because if you don't have that, yeah. other people will, will decide for you, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't want to find yourself in a career in, in, in 10 years time looking back and, and, and say, well, this was not my decision, right? Actually, yeah. somebody else uh, pushed yeah. me or lured me or did something. Yeah. So I ended up here. Um, but you should look back and say, yes, this was me. This was definitely what I wanted. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I took responsibility also for this, right? So yeah. it's not only about the next weeks. It's always about the next years. Yeah. Cool. Absolutely. So, um, but I mean, uh, what was the feedback you received from, uh, in, in, from, from the interviewers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I think in the beginning, um, in the first rounds, uh, there were some points that I could improve. There were especially like uh, the timing, you know, um, I was coming from the preparation and uh, with the other peers that I practiced with. And then I might, because my background is also research, to sometimes give a little bit too much of detail. Um, and this was basically like a feedback that I could improve during the, the first and second round. But uh, this was just a minor thing. But uh, really, the, the the core was, or the best one I received was, um, um, yeah, do exactly the same thing in the next interview. 
And I think this basically says it all, right? They, they really liked my approach. They really liked the way how I uh, structured even the most complex or uh, most unconcrete questions that they gave me. Um, and then also how I clearly communicated during the case and how I always proactively um, explained or mentioned how and why I want to proceed in a case and what I need in order to do to test a certain hypothesis uh, this way. Um, and these are certainly qualities that I dearly learned uh, during the coaching with you, which I am really thankful for. Yeah, yeah. And these are certainly qualities that are going to serve you very well in your client interactions to come, right? Because uh, again, the case interview is not just a random format where you select or choose to interview candidates. Um, there is a good reason why they do it exactly as they're doing it, because in, in the end, it's simulating an interaction in between a consultant and a client, yeah. right? And, and all of the qualities you just um, emphasized will be of significant importance uh, mm -hmm. to be successful in your client interactions later on. Yeah. But again, um, you don't have to worry about this. Uh, this was really, really outstanding. And also, I really like because you, you, you kind of live demonstrated here, right? Um, mm -hmm. Because if I follow you the last uh, one and a half or two minutes, you're exactly doing the same thing again. So yeah. it's not only you have improved in your uh, case interviews uh, when you when you need to uh, deliver in a, in a selected time frame, but the communication overall has changed significantly, right? Yeah, so yeah. this is also interesting. Yeah. Um, okay. So maybe maybe last question is: Was there anything that that surprised you on 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 your journey? What you would have mm -hmm. not expected at all? Yeah. So certainly one. I, I think there are two things. The first one is um, what I learned during is is that brainstorming is really not to test your creativity potential, but rather yeah. a test um, that how you or in the way how you logically approach to to structure anything. Um, and this is certainly uh, different from what you learn in school, you know, um, brainstorming, you usually learn, I, uh, I need to think about this and this and let's, let's think about this and that. But no, in, in consulting, it is a structured approach um, to go, you know, to, to find the root cause of a certain um, problem that I have in a, in a revenue decline or a profit decline, for example. Um, and yeah, this, this is certainly one thing. And the, the other thing is that um, you can really apply um, the lessons learned in, in the course here with you to any strategic questions you encounter during your life. And then, for example, one thing um, which made it really, really palpable um, um, was the second worksheet or so with the question, should this consultant basically um, write a book about the uh, economy in China and in yeah. order to make him herself like financially independent for the for yeah. the rest of yeah. his life, you know. And these decisions are real life decisions that might not be a typical case, but where where it shows that the, the approach that you learn um, in this program is really um, hands on and is is really like a fully fledged way um, to approach any strategic questions in your life. And this was certainly one thing that 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 surprised yeah. me a little bit, but it is true, yeah. Did you did you experience this in your in your private life also that you are sitting at a restaurant and asking yourself how much uh, they are making and yeah. why are they offering the menu they are doing and and things like this? Did, did, did this happen yeah. to you too? So, um, like two cases, for example, like even from yesterday, yeah. I was driving with a train and you know you you, you see a, a big um, plant and you might think, okay. What does the market for windows in this plant look like? Or I mean, um, in general, industry windows. Or um, how does it grow? Yeah, you know, what might be drivers? The number of plants, the number of uh, you know yeah. um, windows per plant. What might be the growth rates there? How does the market look like? And also, as you said, like going to the grocery shop nearby. Um, what is the what does the, the the revenue look like? What does the cost look like? Um, and find reasons. You know, I was I was finding someone from an Instagram person that was moved because, oh yeah, uh, I thought before they might have had sh a shelf space, which the people didn't really see. And then they moved it more into the center of um, attention for, yeah. for people. And then this might have been a reason, you know, they they found out that um, the revenue was declining and for this Instagram person in this shop and then they relocated the shelf. Uh, uh, really, yeah. So yeah, this is basically loving. an everyday uh, situation where you uh, can apply this, this knowledge. Yeah. 
Yeah, so the transformation is completed with you. Um, no further questions. And maybe last question. Um, let's speak about the, the people where the transformation has not been completed so far. Um, mm -hmm. What are, is your one or two top hints uh, for these with regards to their preparation? Mm -hmm. So um, I would say certainly do not try to, or people that are not already in the program, um, do not really try to learn frameworks by heart because this is a sure way to um, increase the chances that you will fail your interview at some, some certain point in time. Um, instead, um, what I really um, appreciated in your coaching session is to approach any question, as I said, in a, in a robust, repeatable and mature way by asking the essential questions, what must be true or what questions do we, ha uh, do we have to ask in order to, to give a clear um, client's recommendation. Um, mm -hmm. And during this process, during the interview in general, don't treat the interviewer like an oral examiner, but more like, like a, just a normal, natural person, like a conversation that we have, uh, you're on right now, and uh, it, it's yeah. not an oral exam. So if you really can um, shut um, this, this this way of thinking because the interviewer is your is your ally. Yeah? Um, and uh, yeah, the, this was certainly one, one thing I would suggest other people to, to have in mind. And also like, a uh, second one would be like the goal of the case structure because a lot of people in the internet on YouTube videos, they think about, ah, oh, this is my structure and I come to the structure and we should uh, look at, I don't know, uh, three, four, five areas. But then people don't really know why four or five, why not 22 areas, right? So really um, the goal that you have and that you develop here as a, as a skill for a case structure is not to test that you can up, come up with a list of a bucket list of things to look at. Um, but it is a way to make sure that the interviewee is will invariably arrive um, at the core uh, at the answer to the core question that the client has asked us. And this way to like changing from this um, internet way of thinking with a bucket list to this this fully fledged approach is is certainly um, yeah I would say do learn this way of thinking and not like the, the general um, run of the mill type uh, type yes. of, of thinking. Yeah. Cool. So. Yeah. Um, Richard, what, what, nothing left to say um, to a great career. Um, uh, still super happy for you. Uh, you will find your way into BCG. I'm pretty sure about this. Um, and I'm also expecting this to be a pretty successful career, right? I've seen enough uh, to make that uh, <laughs> to, to make that statement. Um, yeah. Thanks a lot for also sharing um, your experiences, for letting others know where you would focus if you would do it again. And yeah. for the moment, good luck. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.